newspaper gave me this. Gary Kane remembers when the Four Bombers teams, were the team to beat. The Bombers in softball, that was the cream of the crop, the creme de creme in softball. And when I made that, I said, wow, this is terrific. This ball is zipping across home plate at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. It's typical of the kind of action you'll see on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Beginning in the 1940s and spanning four decades, Clearwater was the center of fast pitch softball. I'm Bill Fleming, and this is Jackie Robinson, one of the all-time greats in baseball, who'll be working with us on this World's Championship game, the finals. Jackie, that ball is a little bit bigger, but boy, it sure comes whizzing in there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I was amazed to find out that the ball comes in faster from the pitching of softball than it does from the pitching of the hardball. Boy, it, it was true, true grit to see that kind of talent. The Water Bombers were the team to play and, and the place to be in Jack Russell Stadium. The out-of-town teams we played against, most of them came to Clearwater because they wanted the, uh, the luxuries of the beach right. and the hotels <laughs> and stuff and to play in a great stadium, which was Jack Russell. The Clearwater Bombers were 10-time national champions. Clearwater Bombers, a team that's won this world's championship four times. They were feared on the field, but also left a mark in the Bay Area. Look around you. You have John Chestnut Park. John Chestnut, former bomber. McMullen Booth Road. Paul McMullen, former bomber. Herb Dudley Training Complex, former bomber. Eddie Seymour Complex, former bomber. Another former bomber is USF softball head coach Ken Erickson, who was recently named the U.S. Olympic softball coach. What a, a historical program for the Tampa Bay area. You hope the memory never dies from it. And now you have the, the young women's team that's been uh, very successful you know, since around 1987. And you've had some really, really successful players come out of that organization. Uh, it's, been, it's been unbelievable. Erickson is referring to the Lady Bombers softball team, which evolved from the original Bombers. It's another product of the program's legacy. But now, as former players are starting to pass away, those who suited up for the Bombers worry the team's impact on Clearwater will soon be forgotten. The history will be lost. You know, it'll just go up and disappear. You have nothing to put your hands on except, you know, families that have scrapbooks left or something, and eventually they'd be gone. That's why a group of former players created the Bombers Legacy Project. Their main mission is to build a museum, a place to showcase the team while educating younger generations about an important chapter in Tampa Bay sports. And me being a school resource officer and I, working with kids all the time, field trips to a bomber museum to see how it used to be and how girls softball really evolved from what the men did back in the 40s. However, they've only raised 30,000 out of a $500,000 goal yeah. and aren't receiving Mr. any Mr. public funding. What's your biggest concern about all these memories? Where are they going to be housed and stored or saved? Still, the players remain hopeful that with their own fundraising efforts, people will always remember what these men accomplished. Because of what the bombers did to this community, it contributed to its growth and its history. It's a big part of the history, 60 years worth. It is a fair ball, and the ball game is all over. And for these former bombers, it's 60 years worth fighting to keep alive. I mean, just, just that experience and camaraderie, and to see that disappear would, would be horrible. Well, Olivia Stacy joins us now for the follow through Bravo First Foremost. It's a wonderful story. Uh, let's talk more about this museum for the Bombers. Where do they want to build it? Well, their ideal location, Chris, would be inside Eddie Seymour Complex. Now, of course, Eddie Seymour was a bomber, but also this is home to the Lady Bombers. And as we all know, it's a central location for major softball tournaments. So families from all over the United States visit that complex. They feel it would be interesting for them to see Clearwater's fast pitch history and just go hand in hand with the softball tournaments going on. Yeah, really be that maybe natural fit, so to speak. Well, right. the Bombers, certainly they've built that legacy. They'd probably still be popular if they were around, maybe even more so than the Rays. You never even know there. So. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, great job. Thank you, Liv. We do have to take a break. Still plenty to do on the other side. You